So I think we're getting two sides of, of a coin here. I think NASA always tends to be on the more um, reserved side. We, we have a space station that is in orbit above the Earth. If anything catastrophic is to happen, there are multiple human lives aboard. And I think when you're talking about things like leaks, even though this one is relatively minor and the cracks in the space station are so small you can't actually visibly see them, it is something that NASA really wants to understand. Why exactly is this happening? And even though right now it is fully under control and that the astronauts are in no immediate danger whatsoever, it really speaks volumes to what is actually happening with the aging of the space station. And I think this is a really valid point. The space station has been up there for decades. It will be coming down in the next five to 10 years or so. But understanding how the stresses on the space station react and change over time is crucial. On the other side, you do have Roscosmos, who is saying that it is controlled, they are investigating it, but don't believe it to be uh, as pressing point. And I think we're going to hopefully see some agreement between the two in the next week or so. So what are the possible causes of this leak uh, that have been around since 2019? There's multiple things that can cause it. One one theory is that it is just uh, stresses and tenses on the actual fabric of the, the space station itself. So it's built up of multiple different parts and multiple different modules. Where we have the crack is actually between the main hub of the space station and where a vehicle docks. And it's a part of the space station that is quite, um, it's under rigorous stresses, both from environmental, so the sun uh, heating and cooling, as well as the movement of the space station itself. So it could be a range of different issues there. And right now, uh, Sarah, what are cosmonauts doing at this moment to patch up the problem, if, can, if I can put it that way? So they're investigating. They're trying to isolate and identify exactly where are these micro cracks. So at the moment, it's estimated about one and a half kilograms of air is leaking from this particular module, which is not a significant amount of air, but it is enough to raise concern. However, it is leaking out of cracks that are likely too small to be seen with the eye. So what they're trying to do is identify any micro cracks using different types of techniques and instruments, and that can be extremely challenging. And looking further, are there sort of uh, middle and, and long-term uh, implications mm -hmm. for the operations of this International Space Station and, and in the missions that it has? So one of the more pressing long-term effects that this could have is that that gateway to one of the modules could no longer be used. At the moment, it is sealed off and only opened and closed when you're moving cargo or people to and from that module. Um, what The worst case scenario is that it will need to be sealed off and not used, which means that we will need to rearrange and rejig how astronauts are coming to and from the space station. And to do this, NASA has actually already prepped the Crew Dragon module, which is up there with an emergency seat that could house one more astronaut upon return in case needed. Yeah, and, and is, is it the same for Russia? Do they have uh, those contingencies that NASA has as well? I believe so, yes. So both sides will have different contingency plans. And ultimately, this is a collaborative environment. Um, we have a couple of different agreements um, that we have done within space. And if astronauts are in any immediate danger, um, it is very likely that we would see both sides come together to make sure that astronauts are safe, no matter what, using whatever module is available to them at the time. Yeah, and we've always been hearing for so long that this is an aging space station and everyone mm -hmm. knows that. Um, what is the sort of are there any future plans, particularly by the, the, the big space um, nations, US, Russia, even China, to perhaps look at um, either modernizing it in some way, although this is space, anything mm. can happen and it's such an expensive exercise. Uh, what, what's in it in the long term? So we know of a couple of things that will happen. We, uh, we are likely to see Roscosmos pull out of the International Space Station by 2028, which has been spoken about previously. NASA has uh, just, well, the United States government has just um, agreed a tender to SpaceX to help decommission um, at the space station when that time comes, and that will likely be around 2030 or into the 2030s. And what will happen is astronauts will be removed from the space station and will no longer be occupied there, and they will bring down bits of that space station and have it burn up in a controlled re-entry into our atmosphere. Okay, Sarah Webb, really good to get your ex expertise on the International Space Station. Thanks so much. Thank you for having me.